Our country is so vast and Americans, they like to drive. It's a passion, I think, of the American lifestyle. It's a kind of a cornerstone of our culture. And what's unique about this vehicle is that it's a car to take the family and transport them to a national park or state forest or to their lake house, let's say, or maybe go skiing on a weekend. So this car fits in perfectly to that active lifestyle, this, this culture where Americans just want to get out and experience the U.S. and all its beauty. And this is a car that caters to that lifestyle and mentality. This great product is designed and centered into the heart of the American market. Up to now, we are more known as a small car company. And now coming with this midsize SUV, it's a product which is really giving the brand uh, a coverage which it did not have before. The Crossbrook concept gave us quite a good feedback. Nevertheless, we changed this car to be bigger and bolder for what the US customer expect. The midsize SUV is much different from what we've seen before. It's a seven passenger vehicle. It'll be full of functionality and have a fantastic third row seat, easy to get into and easy to exit as well with that very functional second row seat. The market here in America is so big and uh, the Volkswagen brand fits so perfectly into this market, especially with the heritage of the brand going back to the Beetle and, and the Microbus. It's a great opportunity to continue that story on a broader and, and stronger basis. After looking deeper into the market in America, it was clear that this has to be something that stands out. For us, it was a really important project because the car is special for the US market. And we wanted to be bold, big, but on the other hand, as, as well, beautiful. The midsize SUVs in the US, they have their own style. And we've been in a lucky position that we had also some very young designers from the States in our team. So we discussed the project a lot with those guys to take their input and their knowledge about this kind of segment in the States. That is something that we had to learn. What's the expectation? And what is boldness for an American customer? And we have a very clear design DNA at VW and this DNA is based on simplicity. Yeah? Our cars have to be understandable for the customers. The facial expression of a car, a product, is defining its character. We want to give the car a wide appearance, a very earnest look. It should look substantial, but without being too aggressive. They emphasize about the wheels with our main feature line that sits a bit lower between the wheel arches and then sloping up over the wheels and is ending in the area of the rear lights and of the front lights. Especially also when you look at the C-Post or the D-Post has its own character. The massive grille, the headlights and connecting the grille into the headlight. I think this gives power to the car. This was really important for us to do a really simple interior because our lives outside of a car are complicated enough. The position of the ambient lighting and, and the interior is really important for us to create a lounge feeling in the car. With this precision line, we divided the dashboard, the doors and, and, and horizontal areas with, with horizontal lines and, and themes and you can feel it. 
that everything is well balanced, that there are no complicated corners. It's really important that you feel really well. You know, this is your car, you know, you bring your, your family into the car as well. So this is your home, you know, you bring in it. And you need as well from us a, a kind of basic environment that you feel really comfortable. It's, it's a machine that, that delivers freedom. And this is something that you have to understand when you, when you start to design such a piece. It needs to have this, this tightness, this boldness. It's about freedom. There's an old saying, it takes 20% uh, of the time to do 80% of the work and then 80% of the time to do the other 20%. And that 20% is a lot of fine tuning, a lot of fixing small things to make the vehicle a lot better. As a part of our product design process, the purpose of vehicle testing is to achieve subjective and objective data on vehicle performance conducted through real world environment conditions. With a prototype vehicle, a lot of the problems have not happened before. It takes a lot of people and with a lot of expertise to find root causes of some of these problems and that's what we do here. We help to fix these problems before the vehicle reaches production so it's going to be a really strong vehicle for the American market. There are some different tests, uh, the cold weather and hot weather testing to identify any functionality limitation under extreme temperature conditions. And the durability testing, it's like a quality check and it starts with a simple part and ends in the entire vehicle and as well as competitor analysis. Uh, high mileage testing that we do is we put a lot of miles on the cars in a very short amount of time, running three shifts of drivers along with data loggers and the full load to see how the vehicle is going to do at say 60,000 miles, 70,000 miles. All this is done before it gets into the customer's hands. That way we can fix durability problems that will be long term that aren't caught in short term testing. Now we drive the car on the road and uh, beside the road to make some functional testing and to make a check how performs the chassis and the engine before the customer gets the car. Extensive testing on the vehicle is done in the U.S. to be able to ensure that it will provide, whether it be in the mountains, whether it be in different, uh, different road surfaces, or even being able to pick the family up and take them on a long vacation at a moment's notice. This vehicle has been tested specifically with that in mind for the American consumer. Testing is so important to guarantee that Volkswagen can build vehicles like the Atlas with top quality standards to achieve the highest customer satisfaction.